making some vent holes today for B boxes. Something like that. Alright. Or something like that one. Or these. Alright. I use these PVC knockouts from Home Depot. Uh, they work very well. You can get these at Lowe's also. They're very flimsy from Lowe's. They don't have as much of a lip here. They don't have this nice handle here. They're more flimsy. Uh, these are very cheap at Home Depot. I think I want to say they're maybe 50 cents a piece if you go to Home Depot. If you go online, they're more. Uh, this is SKU 508260. And the part number is 39102D. And I'm using these spider hole saws. These are new to me. I I always used uh, Lennox or Bosch or any other, you know, the regular hole saws we've all seen. I always saw these in Lowe's and thought, ah, it's probably just some gimmick. How good could it be? So I got one tried it and I can't say enough about them they're they're very good they drill a cleaner hole and they're much faster it takes much less effort to make a hole with this all right so I'm using a if you don't have a drill press to do these what you would do And you know, uh, feeders, feeder holes, you need a hole. You could use this for all sorts of things. If you don't have a drill press, what you would do is figure where you want the hole to be. Uh, take into account any clearance for, like in my case, I have a lid coming down here, right? All right so I don't want this to be right there. I want it to be down a little bit. And I have to take into account that lip. So take that all into account. And then get your height where you want it and centered left to right. And without a drill press, what you would do to make these all repeatable and faster, once you get that mark, just pre-drill one, the quarter inch bit. And then just use this board as a template. Lay this over top of all the rest of them. All right. Then drill through the next one. Drill, drill through the next one, and the next one, and the next one, right on down the line, using this as a template. All right. And once you have all your pilot holes, then you just come along with your hole saw and you're right in the same spot. You drill them all much faster for you. So I already set this up. Centered and I have a stop on there. I'll just do one or two of them with this. Nice fit. If you put a little paint in here, it'll snug it up just a little bit more. And plus, if you get water coming down in there, it won't rot this wood out.
that's it. So if you're not using these spider hole saws, try one. They're not that expensive either. They, uh, as you can see, they have carbide tips here. I don't know if you can see that. Now for this, for these three inch end caps that I'm using, for these three inch PVC knockouts, this is a three inch spider hole saw. Uh, if you're going to do two inch, you get the corresponding hole saw for that. Alright, I gotta get back to building. Have a good day, everybody.